We need to figure out how to get behind this wall. A scan might help. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is back online. Pathfinder, I detect a strong unidentified energy signature emanating from behind that wall. So there really is something back there. It also looks like we're going to have to blast our way through with the explosives around here. Think we have enough? That should get us at least part way through. I'll punch us the rest of the way if I have to. Here we go. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Everyone okay? No one crushed by falling ice? All accounted for. And the blast brought the wall down. It's beautiful, but what makes this place so interesting that the cat would fight for it? Greetings. How can I assist? What are you? An interface for the power grid of this city. I have been operational since the city was encased in ice. She is lying. This is an AI, and her origin appears to be Angaran. The Angara are advanced, but I haven't heard anything about living AI. Our oral history doesn't describe one. This is amazing news. Go get the commander. So tell me, why lie? As you can see, I am currently vulnerable. What happened here? The Ket aliens talked as though I was evil and disgusting. They planned to take my knowledge and then kill me. I fought them off, but my energy stores are now drained. I am near death. Another lie. She is tied to a deep power grid. I beg you, have pity on me. Do not take me from here. I would rather die. I am tired. I am done. That's insane. You're an extraordinary find. A key to our past. Am I? You are not the ones who designed me. I do not trust you any more than I do the Ket aliens. Or these other aliens. I would rather die. Ryder, she has now blocked my attempts to scan her. Okay, this is... I'm open to suggestions here. Options? Thoughts? Thoughts? I'm taking her out of here. That's what... No! I am tired! I will not go! I am afraid! So afraid! And angry! Help, help me! Please! I have a... Family! A life for a life. Is mine really more valuable than his? <laughs> Way too valuable. I'm sorry. You really didn't have to do that. With my fate now in your hands, consider it... a warning. But your future is exciting. You can help the Angara recover what they lost to the Scourge. I do not know them. I owe them nothing. But your AI... I do understand him. Place me in his custody. Hmm, not sure that's a good idea. Oh, must everything always be about borders? If, at this moment, Sam can best help this AI, then let's share. Not gonna look good to the Angara, though. We know there's already anti-AI sentiment on the Nexus. I want to be with Sam. I have a consciousness. I have desires and feelings. Please, Pathfinder. Let's abide by her wishes. Jal, Liam, make the diplomatic arrangements. At least the cat didn't get her. 
Okay, team. What's next? Is this Engaren? It looks strange. Something tells me we should hang on to this. Put it in cargo. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. The ambient temperature is normal. Life support is back online. If you unfold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. How does the Resistance plan to win this war? We don't have the forces to fight a planet-wide war. Our only hope is a strategic strike. The center of all Ked operations on Vold is across the valley. If we take down their command structure, it will weaken them. At least, that is our hope. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time, as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Tetchix, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the Ked have occupied. The bright spots on the map, are those cities? Cities under siege by the Ked, yes. The largest, Destroyer, was our capital. Was? It's hard to think of a city as a capital when it's just a maze of empty streets and burnout buildings. But buildings can be rebuilt. We are more than our cities. Tell me more about Astraya. It's the recent focus of Ked attacks. They think they can break our spirit by tearing down our walls. The Ked learn that we fight to the death, and they would rather we submit. So they destroy our Dara, our homes. They drive us into the cold and expect us to give in. They underestimate the Angara. 
You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock of foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angara who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they need to be. They take pride in defending themselves, but the Ked are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ked camps. The Ked know this and use it against us. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. I couldn't help but over here. Oh, now you've gone and involved Ryder in this madness. We have to concentrate on saving the Moshai, Anna, not your vain hope. Rabba, I know Moshai's still alive. Hana, why are you convinced your friend's still alive? Because Moshai is our best saboteur. She knows how to keep herself safe. We destroyed Aket's weapon depot, but the detonators failed. Masha had to set off the explosives by hand. It put her in the middle of a blast they saw from over the hills. But Masha knows demolition like no one else. She knows the safest place to hide. If your friend is as skilled as you say, it's possible she survived. Thank you. I've been shouting for so long and no one has listened but you. Even if I believed you, Anyuk won't allow us to go out there. We're needed elsewhere. If I'm out there, I could survey the area. Would you? Sky blessed. I've got the nav point. I hope the date is compatible with your, um, gadget. Whatever you find, please tell me. I just want the truth. I'm not going to stop looking. I love you. You, Hera. I know. Who knows how much time we have? I need some kind of stimulant. Well, I have Kajari. Yes, what is it? You're that alien they've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Don't you have more important places to be? I'm not sure which question I should answer first. How about none of them? I simply wanted to express my surprise that someone was in my way. Dr. Harim, maybe Ryder could help us with the emergency caches. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. Keeping warm, I hope. Are you the doctor in charge here? For the moment. 
My colleague Sella and I usually take turns. She's been on a break. There were too many battles. Too many she couldn't save. It hurt her deeply. Working here can be exhausting, and I don't mean just physically. The infirmary's full. What happened? The Ket attacked a civilian transport not far from here. These fighters were dispatched to defend them. We won, but it was close, as you can see. Why are the Ket attacking civilian ships? They capture Angara for slave labor. We've seen the detention camps. Some are transported elsewhere, and we never see them again. I can't imagine the horrors they're subjected to. I'll let you get back to work. That would be best. strangers I've heard so much about. You know, if not for Jarl, I might kill you. <laughs> this is my friend, Maisie. She helps supply the resistance. That must be difficult out here. Jarl's the brave one. How do you get supplies with a cat everywhere? The same way you came. There are caves and hidden paths all over Vol. It's hard to fly in, so my children run most items through the caves, little by little. Children? Their size makes it hard for the cat to detect. We all do what we can out here, even children. Are you selling anything we could use? I have almost nothing left. What I do have, we need if we're going to stand any chance against the cat. Maybe if you clear that Ket station on the south road, I'd be able to bring in more and spare something for you. How do you feel about Ephra? Some speak ill of the man, but his plan is bold and the resistance is important. I'll do what I can to help until I can't help anymore. Good luck and stay safe. Just make sure you return Jarl to us. Uh, if you need patching up, you'll have to wait. A patrol just came through and I need to see to them. Did they run into something out there? The cat are getting bolder. A band of them attacked our patrol last night. Our people managed to get out without much trouble, but I need to check them over. It's actually warm in here. Those heaters work pretty well. We don't use them for heat. They generate artificial sun, so we don't go dark. What do you mean, go dark? Right, I suppose you wouldn't know about that. Our bodies generate energy from sunlight. If we don't get enough, our immune systems weaken and our bioenergy slows. We go dark. It can't be easy living in a place like this. Between the cold and the lack of sun, it's tough to keep morale up. Most of us come from Aya or Haval, so it's a big adjustment. Immunity drops, people get sick. But if the civilians in the settlements can live here without complaint, so can we. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder.
placement. <laughs> You broke my fighters out of a Ket labor camp. I had nearly given them up for dead. I apologize if I was harsh when we last spoke. It is hard to trust aliens after what happened with the Ket. I'm just glad you didn't follow through on that whole killing me making star sad threat. I'm glad as well. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? How are you holding up against the Ket? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the Ket, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the Commander needs recruits, we'll find them. I'm an outsider. How could I convince anyone to join your resistance? You may be an outsider, but Jarl is an experienced soldier with unmatched passion. He's inspired the will to fight in so many of us. Jarl's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude, both of you. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. <laughs>